Hey guys, my name is Shirley and welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am just gonna be taking you guys through an updated what's in my work bag video. I believe I released one of these maybe three years ago, maybe four years ago, and you guys seemed to love it back then. So I figured why not bring it back as my work bag has updated a little bit since then. So without further ado, ugh, let's get into the work bag. All right, so if you watched my last work bag video, you will pretty much recognize this bag because I have been riding the same work bag for years now, just because I feel like I have not found anything else that works as good as this bag. So this is the, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the name, but I'll put the exact name of the bag on the screen here. But it is from Buff Bunny Collection and I absolutely love it because I have not seen a bag like this. It's huge enough that it fits everything. It's got a perfect laptop sleeve that I believe can fit a 15 inch, la um, 15 inch laptop. But the true star of the show, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? The true star of the show resides in this back compartment here, which you can essentially put all your lunch and your food it's like a mini freezer section and I have not seen that in any bag like I have not seen that in any bag that looks like stylish and everything so absolutely love this bag I did actually upgrade it I had the exact same bag but in a cheaper leather but then I upgraded it to like this more premium leather and I've been I've had this now for years and it's held up absolutely amazingly. Highly recommend it. I love the fact that it comes with a zipper. A lot of tote bags don't give you the option to actually close up a zipper. So absolutely love that. So first things first is we've got our laptop, which is in this laptop sleeve here. So this is just my work laptop. It's quite bulky, it's quite chunky, but obviously I need to bring into my work laptop. So this is just a Dell something does the job, can't complain. I've got my two mobile devices that I bring into work. So this is my iPhone 12 Pro and this is my personal device. And then here I've got my iPhone 11, which is my work phone. So I bring in these two. My job is largely focused on speaking to people. I work in talent acquisition, so I'm always on the phone with hiring managers, candidates or whatnot. So without this, I cannot do my job. I also never leave my AirPods at home just because I need these so much at work. And these are the AirPods Air, I believe. They're the most recent ones, so probably third generation. Oh gosh, my technology has gone really bad lately. Anyway, these are just the AirPods, just the generic ones. I use them quite a lot because when I commute into work, my commute to work is about 45 minutes um, or an hour door to door. And for that time, I'm usually like listening to a podcast, listening to an audible, um, an audiobook or something like that. So I absolutely love it for that purpose. And then also when I am in work, I, as much as I'm in office, sometimes I'm in meetings with people who aren't in office. So I need to log in via Zoom call or a Teams meeting. Um, so when I do log in via Zoom or Teams, I just use my Air AirPods. I find they're a bit easier to use than my headset. Sometimes I will take like my professional headset into work, but I just find AirPods, they make my bag lighter, more portable and still get the job done. So use this um, for meetings as well. Next up in my work bag, obviously got my car keys, my apartment keys and just keys in general. Next things next is I've got my Kindle Paperwhite. Yes, I believe this is a Kindle Paperwhite. If there's anything that you guys know about me is I absolutely love reading. So I usually um, try to read on the train on my way to work and then on my way back. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't. It depends on the book. I prefer taking my Kindle just because one, it's less bulky. Um, so it's much lighter than carrying a traditional book. Also, it gives me the option to pick whichever book I want to read. Next thing I have is my handy dandy umbrella. It's been raining quite a lot here in Sydney. Um, so an umbrella is a must just because when I'm walking from the train station into office, which is like less than a five minute walk, I don't want to get rained on. So we need an umbrella. I've got my trusty um, Kiki K notebook. So essentially I am a fan of to-do lists. Like for me, if something is not written down, it will not get done. If something is not written down, it will not get remembered. So for me, writing down a to-do list and writing down things that I need to do is absolute key. So when I'm in meetings, like as in when I'm speaking with hiring managers or candidates, I usually jot down notes on OneNote on my laptop. But when I'm doing my to-do list, just because I love the satisfaction of ticking things off, I just go into work and then I write like my to-do list and obviously do my to-do list and tick it off. So for instance, like 
just a random day here for instance I don't know if I can even show you that properly so like I'll write the day I'll write down hour by hour what I'm meant to be doing and then as I go I just tick things off and just like keep going and stuff so this is just literally just random to-do list the main reason why I love this notebook and I've had this notebook for years but you would not be able to tell like it's, it's still in pristine condition I've got it like engraved one second focus focus I've got it like engraved with my initials, which I really, really love. It's in a beautiful rose gold color, which I am still obsessed with. But what I love most about this notebook is the inserts are replaceable. So essentially like whenever like the book itself is full, I'll just go into Kiki K, grab a new insert, which I usually pay like five bucks for, and then just put it in the actual sleeve itself so in that sense like i'm saving myself from having to buy a new like leather binder every time just because it's um refillable all right next things next that i've got here and i just keep it usually in this front pocket here just for easy access and that's my opal card obviously we have to pay for public transport as great citizens as we are so keep my opal card here and then i just tap and go and then i've also got my work pass here um obviously can't get access to the building without my pass i've just got a pencil case here and it's very lightweight and in here i just keep my phone charger just because i don't want to have any of my phones die out on me and then me not have access to my phones and then i've also got highlighters and pens here just because some when i go into work i like to do my daily to-do list so obviously need something to write it with do i need a pencil case absolutely not but i just like having it there and i just don't like pens floating around randomly in my bag and this pencil case itself i have no idea where it's from but my year 12 business studies teacher actually um gifted the whole class these pencil cases and she got our initials engraved in them and i just thought that was like the most sweetest thing so since year 12 since my final year of high school i've gone through uni with this pencil case i've gone through like my first roles in the corporate world and still now have this pencil case so absolutely love it yes it does need a good clean but little sentimental piece there and yeah it's held up very very well and then the next thing that i have is this pouch bag thing from white fox boutique and it's a uh, in collaboration with sarah's day so in this pouch i just keep like things that i may need look at how pretty that dalmatian print is inside and obviously it's pink and i just love how it's got like fashion like it's just got that like spice and that attitude towards it so in here i just keep like products that i may need so i am quite a sniffly person i get hay fever and it just absolutely annoys me so i always need a pocket tissue in my bag so i've got some pocket tissues in this pouch obviously in terms of hygiene we need to stay hygienic yeah we need to stay hygienic so i always have a little bottle of hand sanitizer because you never know these public transport systems and when you want to eat and stuff so hand sanitizer there my lips get really chapped especially in winter so we always need some pour pour on us so i've got some lip balm here i've also got some gum because you never know when you're about to run into a meeting and you do not want your breath to be stinking when you're speaking with people also got some panadol you never know when you're going to get cramps or headache or whatnot so got some panadol there my mom is a nurse and a nurse's child never walks around without some form of medication i've also got a very broken comb in here just in case like my fro starts acting up or i need to do my hair really quickly i rarely ever use this this is more just to like touch up my edges um but yeah i've got a random little comb here i've also got a hair tie because you never know when you're gonna need a hair tie and i've also got a face mask in here because you know we live in a world where we need to wear face masks and then the rest are just lady products for when lady emergencies happen so that's kind of what's in this little pouch there it's just kind of like an emergency kit i don't take any makeup i don't wear makeup to work so i don't find the need to carry a makeup bag i forgot to mention two things that i always bring into work which is one my glasses and i don't know why they have gum stuck right to it but yes i always bring in my glasses and these are just from country road but i'm forgetting where i got them from i think i got them from spec savers and then the other thing that i bring without fail is my mx anyway three mouse and i love that it's in pink i always get compliments from it at work you'd think that having a pink mouse is like unprofessional but i always get people say oh my gosh i love your mouse and i'm like yes it's an mx anyway mouse this is 
a mouse that I bring everywhere to me with me like when I'm sleeping over at friends place or at my parents' place I always bring my mouse with me like if I'm gonna do work when I go to cafes I always bring this mouse with me it's so lightweight it's so portable highly recommend and yeah ride or die absolutely love the smells so those are the two things that i had forgotten to mention earlier so yeah that is pretty much everything that is in the main compartment and then obviously like i showed you earlier i obviously have this section right here which is where i keep my lunch this is actually really really spacious i can actually fit like two lunch boxes here like as you can see there's like so much space still in here so that is all that i take into work with me i'll probably try to minimize it more just because i don't like carrying heavy stuff into work it's just like ugh, i don't want to do that but i think i'm quite happy with everything that's in there it's practical it's useful it's for me there's no like excess in there and there's nothing that i'm ever like crap i wish i had this in my work bag so that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this updated what's in my work bag video and i will catch you guys in the next one bye Thank you.